Hey gang, welcome back. Over the next month, I'm going to be posting some new exercises to bring up our pick blocking technique and improve our improvisational skill. Um, and it just reminded me that if you're looking for some other skill lessons in the meantime, other exercises, technique stuff, so this is the home page, right? You're just going to go down here, see that skill button? We're going to click on that. And all the lessons that I've tagged with skill are going to pop up. So we got the slow licks, speed picking, right? We got some uh, other pick blocking exercises. So um, in the meantime, you can check those out. And let's dive into our next pick blocking episode 106, finger groupings. So I got a request last month about how we can build up our improvisational skill. And I've got a couple lessons I'm really itching to get out to you on that. Um, but we got to do first things first. And I'm really kind of shocked I haven't taught you all this one yet. Because in my opinion, this is easily, hands down, the most important exercise you can ever learn and practice. You know, I've been playing over a decade and I still practice this one all the time. And it's our finger groupings. Now there's three levels to this. Let's check out the first one. So again, this is very basic, right? Our guitar is tuned to an E major, right? So we've got two E's on eight and four, right? Two G sharps, six and three, and two B's on five and 10. And that makes up our E major chord, E, G sharp, B. Now, of course, we have our uh, F sharps, right? Our nines, that's why we call it an E nine. Right, and then we got our seven and flat seven. Um, okay, so when we get rid of the nines and the seven and flat seven, we're just left with the one, three, and five, E, G, sharp, B. And we're going to practice picking those E major chords. Right, so the first one is 10, 8, 6. The second one is 8, 6, 5. And 6, 5, 4. And then five, four, three. Okay, so to start the exercise, we're gonna set up on 10, eight, six, and we're gonna pick those. All right, so we just talked about our next uh, E major chord is on eight, six, five, but first we have to block. So how do we block it, right? So we don't want, after we pick 10, eight, six, we don't wanna go right back down on 10, eight, six, because it's going to take too long for us to get to the next chord on 8-6-5. So we're going to pick 10-8-6, right? and then I'm going to set up just right on 8-6-5. And you'll notice that my thumb is blocking 8, my index finger is blocking 6, and that 10th string that was ringing is getting blocked with the back of my thumb. Right? So even though we call it pick blocking, I'm really kind of thumb blocking on this one. And same idea for the next one, right? So we're gonna be picking eight, six, five. And the next chord is six, five, four. Now I don't wanna set right back down on eight, six, five. I'm just gonna to move to that next finger group. And when I do, my thumb's gonna block that back string and my fingers will block the rest. So it's kind of a combined pick blocking and thumb blocking. And then same idea for the last one. We just picked six, five, four, but we don't go back down on six, five, four. We go straight to five, four, three, and six gets blocked from the back of the thumb. So on the way up, we practice it nice and slow, steady and controlled. Now I would way rather you go that slow than go Right, kind of feel around for the next one. Right, that's just going to build bad habits. So after I pick that first one, I'm going to leave it ringing as long as it takes for me to set down on 865 perfect. When I set my fingers down next, boom, I want it to be perfect every time. As long as I need, I'm going to hover over 654 and then boom, block. Same with the last one. I'm going to leave that ring until I'm ready to set down on 5, 4, 3 perfectly. Boom. Okay, so now we've worked our way up. This time, we are going back down on the strings. So from 3, 4, 5, we're going to go to 4, 5, 6, right? We just worked our way up. 
So you might be thinking, well, now I don't have the back of my thumb to block with, right? Now we're going to be blocking with the back of our middle finger. When I set down on 654, right? My picks are blocking 654, but my middle finger is blocking that third string that was ringing, right? And that's going to follow that same idea all the way down. 654, third string gets blocked from the back of M. Now we're going to take the time we need to set up on 865. When I do that, fourth string gets blocked from the back of middle. Same idea with the last one. We're picking 865. When we set up on 1086 for this last one, right, now the fifth string is getting blocked from the back of the middle finger. So you can see, right, I'm just, even though I'm setting my pick down on string, on string six, just enough of my uh, middle finger nails touching that fifth string to get it blocked. And that's a, a very common pick blocking technique. So even though we're so we're learning a, a couple things, we're learning our finger groups, which are super important, right? Because those are the voicings we're going to be using for our different harmonized scales, our chord inversions, all of that. And that just needs to be something we don't even want to have to think about down the road. Um, and then the other thing is we're learning pick blocking, right? Because it's not all, pick blocking isn't always setting your pick down on the string that you're trying to block. A lot of the times it's blocking from the back of your thumb, the, the back of your middle finger. Um, okay, so now level two, we're going to bring the bar into it. So we're starting off the same. All right. Now we're going to bring the bar on the first fret and then we're going to walk it down. Keep going up one fret at a time. All right, so you get the idea with that. Now, a couple things to watch out for is that we want to block before we slide, all right? So on the, on the way down, Block, then slide. Right. If I slide, then block, it's going to sound like... Right? And we don't want to hear that little... We want to block first. All right, nice and clean. Same thing on the way up, right? If I don't block first... You're going to hear that slide in between. So pick, block, slide. Block, slide. Okay, so that's level two. We start working our bar into it, and now we're learning three things at the same time. Our finger groups, our pick blocking, and bar control. Right? So we're going to take as much time as we need to really land on that fret, just like we take all the time we need to land our fingers right on the exact strings we want them to land on. So you can see how this, what seems like a simple exercise, is all of a sudden everything it takes to be a great steel guitar player, right? Left hand, right hand, um, blocking, watching the frets, all that. Okay, now once you're feeling good with that, we're adding in level three. And level three is we're going to follow whichever string we're uh, playing with the bar. Okay, so let's start on the second fret. Um, we're going to work our way up, right? So we're starting 10, 8, 6. My bar is just going to cover 10 through 6. When I play 8, 6, 5, my bar is going to cover up to the fifth string. When I'm playing 6, 5, 4, I bring my bar up to cover the fourth string. Same thing, when I play 5, 4, 3, bring my bar up to cover the third string. Block and slide. On the way down, same idea. Covering the third string. When I move down, I'm going to move my bar down with it. 
Now I'm not blocking, the, now I'm not covering the third string anymore. Move the bar down to the fifth string, down to the sixth string, and repeat. Now the reason behind this is this adds another blocking element, right? If my bar is not on the third string, right, you're not going to hear it if I accidentally hit it. It's also a blocking technique, right? right? So without having to block with my right hand, I just block my third string just by sliding my bar off of it, but four and five are still ringing, right? So this is a great technique for keeping some of those uh, wonky notes out that start ringing with, uh, with sympathy and all that other kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, so there's your three levels. Uh, eventually we're going to combine this with some other uh, cool ideas and we'll get into the improvisation letter later. Uh, but for now, just practice nice and controlled. Right? Perfection is the name of the game, not speed. We'll bring the speed up later. Um, if you have any questions about this one, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you soon.